finally then, could I get you to pull together one issue each that you think is going to come out of this conference, which is, after all, the European Multidisciplinary Cancer Conference, Cancer Congress indeed, and it, it's pulling together expertise from many different areas to perfect the treatment of the patient. How much better can we treat patients? We have done uh, very well recently. What would each one of you perhaps... Um, Michael, first, what, what do you pull out and what do you think is the main reason why we should go to this meeting and what we might get out of it in terms of the basic science and how it translates into the clinic? Yeah, actually what we do in clinical practice today, every day, is we treat patients in multidisciplinary teams because that offers the best treatment for our patients. And we have to recognize that everybody of us has certain real positive things to offer to the patients, but that we all also have limitations in what we can do. So bringing our positive things in a marketplace like the ECHO meeting to exchange the news and really to look where we can add and what is good to integrate brings a lot of additional value to the patient. For me it's about the individual. Uh, Michael expressed it very beautifully, but it's we bring together teams of cancer professionals to deliver the best treatment plan, the best care that we can for that individual. We provide the best information for that individual. We provide the best psychological support for that individual. And increasingly, we're bringing the best signs for that individual so that we get, as Annalise has said, the right treatment for the right person, the right place at the right time and the right dose so it's the individual. How much difference can it make, though, to the patient? Do you see the continued improvements in life expectancy of patients? But, but we do. I mean, we're just about to publish, publish in Annals of Oncology, um, you know, remarkable steady improvements across all of Europe uh, in terms of uh, cancer mortality figures. Now, our, our brothers and sisters in, in the old Eastern Europe are still lagging behind, but, but there's no doubt that we're having a hugely, this is a hugely impactful time for us as cancer professionals in driving down cancer death rates all across Europe just now. And that, that comes from working together, improved care. Uh, so knowledge is power. The more we understand of the basis of the disease, the more we can intervene, the more we understand the basis of the trouble for an individual, the more we can support and look after. And Annalisa, before I ask you about your conclusions about what people are going to get out of the conference, I did want to ask you about diagnostics and biomarkers, which are a little bit separate from the actual disease mechanisms and how the drugs work. It, are you giving us some good things there in Stockholm? Oh, yeah, there, there, there are bo both round table discussions and, and specific sessions on different biomarkers in each of the, of the main uh, tumour types. Mm -hmm. And I think that the, we will improve, and these biomarkers will come very early on, that we can do earlier diagnosis, so you can have less treatment, but also biomarkers during treatment, that you have treatment response biomarkers. And I think that the, the, this will add on to get a better treatment for each of the patients. And I think from, from, from my perspectives, I would like to, of course, you will see all the highlights, how, how far have we got, but that will also tell you what do we still lacking. And I think that's where do we have to put our resources together for the next 10 years to, to really do a better treatment of cancer. So where are we still having holes to really improve cancer care and cancer treatment? So to finish with your recommendation for the reason why everybody should go to the European Multidisciplinary Cancer Congress in Stockholm. That will be to enlighten your scope. Where are we today? And where do we have to go and where do we need to put our efforts for the next 10 years to even do better? Well, thank you all very much. It's a, a great joy to get you all here on eCancer TV and I look forward to catching up with you in Stockholm. <laughs>